talk about being empathic while being in relationship. Now, as empaths, you may attract a certain type. You may not, but I want to point this out because I want you to be aware of it. As empaths, we tend to be healers. We tend to want to help people, to fix people. And so we may attract someone that we think needs fixing. We may attract someone that we think, oh, I could help them or they could change. But really, that's not the point of a relationship. So you have to do your homework and your due diligence and think about why you're choosing a certain type of partner if you are. If you're choosing someone because you want a project to work on, that's not really choosing to be partnered in a relationship. That's choosing to be codependent, which we'll talk about later. If you're choosing someone because you think that them needing your help creates more security for you in relationship, then really what you need to work on are your own insecurities or your own thoughts about yourself and not the other person. So really being aware, I want you to just go backtrack through your life and look at the kinds of relationships you've been in. Who have you chosen to be in relationship with? And start to look at, is there a pattern? Am I choosing people who show up as projects? Or am I choosing people who really show up to partner with me? As empaths, we need someone who can be there for us as well as someone who's really open-hearted and allows us to be open and care for them too. We need it to go both ways. As an empath, we tend to fall into the pattern of being the caretaker. So just look for that in your own relationships.